in the past up until this time, I've received so many messages from trolls because they can't be serious. And I really don't think they are serious. And they're responding to a video I did on Fearless 2005 regarding making a pact with the devil. And that video was more of a warning to people not to tamper with things of the unseen, things that you really don't overstand or even understand. So there's people that send me messages all the time asking me how can they sell their soul to the devil? And again, I, I, I think these are being trolls, but at the same time, you have to really be careful. And I can't stress that enough. You have to really be careful what you do, what you say, and how you think in your awakened state. Because there's people that may joke and clown and just about selling their soul to the devil. They speak that word, they think it as they speak it. And without being aware, it began to start manifesting itself. The devil will hear you. And the devil will answer your call. The devil knows that you are ignorant to what you're doing. In your mind, you're thinking it's a joke. But the devil is looking, saying, well, okay, you asked for it, so now you got it. So then when you lay down at nighttime and you go to sleep and you enter into a dream state or a vision state or you may even experience an out-of-the-body experience. You may even astral travel. And then when you wake up, you say, wow, that was a crazy dream. Wow, that was a crazy vision. I had an OBE or I astral travel. And you're excited about it. But what you fail to realize is that you actually begin to start operating in the demonic realm. You start actually performing things and doing things at the beckoning of Lucifer on the unseen realm. And in your mind, you're thinking you just had a dream. You may see snakes. And what you perceive as a nightmare or even have sleep paralysis or what they call sleep paralysis. When I was growing up, they always refer to that as the witch riding you. When you wake up and you are aware and can see what's going on around you, but you can't move and you feel this force or this energy holding you down and while you're laying there. You may even see demonic activity going on around you. And there's nothing you can do because you have no protection because you opened yourself up to the demonic realm when you said yes to the devil. Whether you were joking or not, but you said yes to the devil. So the devil hears you. And it's not like you're going to get an answer, an audible answer telling you, yes, I hear you. Yes, his, I, I'm going to take a blood sacrifice. Yes. And that blood sacrifice may come just by you just accidentally pricking your finger. Or you may get some type of bruise on your body. You're trying to figure out where that bruise came from and why you're bleeding. Why are you bleeding and where did that come from? You can't figure that out because you were asleep. So you start looking for little sharp objects in your bed, needles, pens, or what have you. Or maybe even 
uh, uh, one of the springs from the mattress sticking out. You may think that's it. And so you feel around on your bed and you can't feel anything. And you're trying to figure out how did I get this cut? How did I get this scrape? Why am I bleeding? You may even wake up with a nosebleed, a form of blood sacrifice. And this may sound a bit far-fetched and out of the way to some people or even to many people. But when you start dabbling into the demonic realm, the unseen realm, the spiritual realm, now you may come against the church, you may come against the Bible, you may come against Christians. And you may say, I don't believe in that. Guess what? You have no protection. You may say all of that. But then when you lay down and close your eyes and you enter into a dream state, your subconscious mind kicks in. Guess what? The spirit of darkness will take advantage of that. And will have you traveling different places or doing things in your sleep or in your subconscious state and you wake up and say, wow, that was a crazy dream. You think it's a vision or you may wake up and even forget and not even remember that you had even dreamed, had a vision or traveled. But yet, you did things at the order of darkness. You operated in the demonic realm doing things for the devil unaware, ignorantly. And then you start noticing the whole energy around your family start changing. You start noticing the relationships between your family members, brother, sister, mother, father, cousins, children start changing. You start noticing that your old friends start moving away from you and you started gaining new friends that have different lack of moral values. So you're wondering, why am I drawing this negativity to myself? Why are things seeming to go wrong for me? Why am I dreaming of snakes? Why has the energy level in my house changed? Why are things starting to move around in my house? Doors starting to open and close. Objects begin to start moving. Noise begin to start creaking at night while I'm trying to sleep. Why are these things happening? Because in another realm, Subconsciously, you entered a demonic realm. A demonic realm you entered because in your awakened state, you jokingly said yes to the devil. When you say yes, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to believe what you say. You just have to say it. The spoken word is quite powerful. You have to be extremely careful what you say, what you think, and what you even claim to believe. Because even if you claim to believe something because you disagree with someone or because you dislike someone, and you may agree with them, but yet because you don't like them, you disagree with them, you just said yes to the devil. And again, I know there's people that may disagree with this, and that's okay. But many are operating in the spirit realm, in the demonic realm, and not realize it. And you wonder why bad luck is always happening to you. So then that ultimate sacrifice comes where a loved one is now taken from you. Or even your life is now taken from you and you won't even realize that you said yes to the devil until you reach that judgment throne of the Most High. Then everything will be made plain to you 
And while you're standing pleading your case, you're saying, I've never said yes to the devil, but yet do you remember? And your mind will be taken back to that moment where you just or made a joke about wanting to make a deal with the devil. And then you try to plead your case and said, I was just joking. I was playing. But then you will be showed a flash event of when you're watching one of my videos or maybe someone else's videos when they're telling you to be careful of what you say and what you do. And you will be shown your reaction to what we said and you start trolling. And at that moment, there will be no help for you, no excuse for you, because you said yes to the devil. And you made a pact with the devil and got nothing in return. See, the devil comes not but to kill, steal, and destroy. So if he comes not but to kill, steal, and destroy, and he is the great deceiver, even when you jokingly say yes to the devil, without you even being conscious or aware that you actually said yes, then he begins to start using you as his slave. And you get nothing in return but hell right here on earth. You get hell, you get bad dreams, you get bad energy, you can't seem to get along with people, people move away from you, and then the people that come to you are drawn to you are people that use you, abuse you, and make your life a living hell, and you can't seem to wonder what happened. So then you take it out on the most high, and question, where is God? Not realizing that God is nowhere in your life. You may even try to whisper a prayer. But God don't hear a sinner's prayer. He only hear a prayer of repentance. But yet you can't repent because you've sold your soul to the devil. Unaware. Because you were joking about selling your soul to the devil. You were trolling about selling your soul to the devil. So the devil took advantage of that and now is using you in the demonic realm, serving him in your subconscious state while you sleep, while you're dreaming. And in this natural life, you'll think that you're gifted, that you're able to see things. But in reality, you only see your own doom and destruction. So that was a thought that came to mind. I take it as for someone out there. Many's going to hear it. Many's not going to hear it. Woe unto you that this message is for. Like and subscribe, feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.